Escorted by her father, King Frederick of Denmark, Princess Anne-Marie went to the Metropole Cathedral of Athens for her marriage to King Constantine of Greece. The distinguished congregation included representatives of all the royal houses of Europe. Queen Frederica acted as sponsor to her 24-year-old son. Now the princess, beautifully gowned in white satin, made her way to the chancel, there to join the bridegroom. The impressive marriage ceremony of the Greek church was performed by the primate of Greece. In accordance with that ritual, it fell to the bridegroom's mother, Queen Frederica, to take the rings of her son and his bride and cross them three times to represent the Holy Trinity. Queen Frederica now crossed the two crowns in the same symbolical way as the rings. Prince Harold of Norway and Crown Prince Gustav of Sweden then took the crowns to hold over the heads of the king and princess. When the deeply moving service was over, everyone remarked how splendidly the 18-year-old Danish bride had borne herself. It was the same on the return to the palace. Also how well she had endured the terrific heat now beating down upon the procession. the profusion of coloured paper floated down like giant confetti, it almost seemed like a great day on Broadway. The Greek monarchy has often drawn strength from unions with other royal families. It does so now, particularly in this wedding of the handsome young king and his beautiful Danish princess.